hey guys welcome back to my channel mi tutorial so from today i'm going to start a series of vba tutorial where i'll be teaching you guys how to create macros in the most simplest way so that you can apply this in your day-to-day -day job and make your life much easier so let's get started so the first thing that we are going to do is add a developer tab in the excel now if you can click on file and go to options click on customize ribbon and select all tabs and over here you'll find a developer tab you can just click on this add button so a developer tab is added you can click on ok now you'll see a developer tab over here so this tab will help you go to the visual basic editor where you'll be writing the macro so let's click on this visual basic icon over here so this will basically take you to a screen something like this um, and uh, you don't see a lot of stuff here because we haven't created any macro as of now so let's click on insert and click on module so module is something where you will write the macro so the way we start a macro is with writing sub and you can give a name to this so I'm just going to say welcome VBA I'm going to click on enter so this will automatically create an end sub which basically is the requirement of any macro so now I'm going to write message box MSG box which is the syntax to create a message box and I'm going to open quotes and type in welcome to VBA tutorial tutorial number one all right so I'm going to close the bracket close sorry close the code so we have now created a small uh, macro so let's close this dialog box as of now and let's click on insert and there's a button over here and you can just click and drag something like this and if not it has not created a button as of now but it's just asking us to assign a macro to this so we just created the welcome underscore vba macro let's assign this macro and click on ok and you can see a button has been created now let's click on edit text and just give a meaningful name to this particular box over here and i'll just say welcome okay and let's click on this button so basically what it has done is it has run the macro which we just created and it has given me a dialog box over here or a message box to say welcome to VBA tutorial number one okay now that we have created a simple welcome box over here let's move on to our next activity where we will be learning how to move the cursor using the macros so I have created a simple activity here where I have start and the and my pathway and the goal so basically what we want to do is we want to have a cursor over here and then move our cursor using the macro and reach until our goal so let's begin with this so I'm going to again go to my developer tab this time I'm going to add four buttons using the button over here so I'm just going to press the alt key and press the button so that it gives me a proper box and I'm just going to leave it okay I'll just say okay to this I'll no I'm not going to assign a macro and I'm just going to copy this button three times and place this in the right way over here so I've just arranged the buttons in the right way and I'm going to rename this as top bottom right and left okay so now we'll create a macro and assign it to these buttons so I'm going to click on this visual basic icon once again and I'm going to type in sub and start with top click on enter I'm going to say selection dot offset open bracket 
So Excel is going to ask for two numbers. The first number is for row and the second is for column. So any negative number that we enter here, it is going to move on top and any positive number is going to move towards down. So I'm going to enter minus one for row and zero for column as I don't want the column to move. I'm going to write dot and type in select. So this is my top macro so let's go and assign and check if it is actually working i'm going to close this window i'm going to click on this top assign macro and click on this top which we just created and click on ok so i'm going to come to my start and i'm going to click on this top button and as you can see the cell has been moved from c5 to c4 so let's do the same thing for the others as well so i'm going to quickly go to the visual basic i'm going to copy this three times and change this to down right and left so like I said any positive number is going to move us down so I'm going to select one comma zero and when you want to move right you're moving column not the row so I'm going to type in zero and I'm going to type in one and for left I'm going to type in 0 and I'm going to type in minus 1 so let's quickly go and assign all these macros assign macro right bottom or down I'm going to assign macro down left I'm going to assign the left macro so let's come to our start again so let's start scrolling down using the macro and reach towards our goal so I'm going to click on the right one Two, three four times and I need to go down I'm going to press the bottom button twice I need to go right I'm going to click the right button twice go on top go on right two times bottom four times right bottom left bottom down or down right goal so we have reached our goal using the buttons which we just created so that's it for today. I hope you have learned something new today and please subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification icon for my next video where I'll be teaching you more about the macros and how you can use them in your daily life. Also comment down below if you have any suggestions for me or if you need any help in Excel, SQL or uh, VBA, I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much for watching.